So, the past few weeks, I've been going deep with my vocal technique, really diving deeper and really trying to understand it. And what I've learned, what I've found is learning how to sing or pure vocal technique is very simple. It's actually really, really, really simple. And if you can understand what I'm talking about today, it might just help you click into a completely different way of singing, maybe a way that's a lot, lot easier. Now, of course, the real magic is going to be doing this consistently, doing it with more finesse, applying to all different types of songs. But regardless, the core of vocal technique is very, very simple. And so for today, I wanted to talk about these two concepts of release and connection, how it's really helped me with my own singing, how it's helped a lot of my students. And I kind of want to share how I use it and how I kind of build my voice and also give you some ideas to help you sing the way that you want. And I'm going to share my own interpretation of these two concepts because I found even when I was learning these two concepts, they were a bit confusing. So make sure to stay to the end because I'm going to break it down so simple for you so that there's no way you cannot get it. By the way, team, for those of you who have not met me yet, my name is Ivan. I'm a voice teacher who works with students all around the world. And so on this channel, on this show, my goal is to share some of the learnings that I've had with singing and make it as easy and as simple for you, the listener. Because let's face it, learning how to sing can feel really, really confusing. And so if this is something that's going to be useful for you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on those notifications wherever you are joining me from so you can get access to our episodes every single Thursday and Friday. And if you wanna take your singing to the next level, you want more guidance, you want something that's more step-by-step, check out some of the links in the descriptions. I've got ways to work with me one-on-one and also some self-study courses to help you build the fundamentals of your singing. So let's break it down, release and connection. Why is this even important? Now, apart from being on pitch and being on time, one of the things that we need to develop as singers is learning how to make singing feel easy to us, regardless of if we're singing, you know, soft sounds, regardless of if we're singing strong, belty sounds, singing high notes, right? How do we make sure they feel easy? And so this is why we boil down to this idea of release and connection. Now, for some of you who have not heard of these two terms before, let's quickly define it. And I'm going to share my interpretation because when I was first learning these concepts, when I was first learning these ideas, I was like, what the heck? This sounds so elusive. Can we just make it more simple? And so let's kind of quickly define these two ideas. Then I'll wrap this up into a bit of an exercise they can use to build and apply to your singing. So release. What is release? Now, how I've come to interpret release is we're basically just looking for a complete release or complete relaxation of the throat. Basically, the throat feels like it's doing nothing, no tightening, no squeeze, nothing kind of gripping on your throat. And I'm sure a lot of us have experienced that before. So release is really important because we don't want to be singing with anything too tight around the throat muscles. Now, the second part of it is connection, which is, okay, my throat's relaxed, but I want my vocal folds, which are in my voice box, I want them to come together and resist and make some sound, resist some airflow and make some sound. And I want them to be able to do it with good control. Now, what we mean by good control is there's a finesse to it, which means I can kind of get them to lightly come together. I can get them to press a bit harder and I can do that and have it done under my control as well. So this is what we mean by connection. So when it comes to singing, we want to establish both of this, a release in the throat and this kind of finesse in terms of connection of the chords. Now, this is easier said than done. And this is why at the beginning of this video, I said, you know, the concept of vocal technique is so simple. There's no way you won't get it. But the real magic is learning to build this ability because the big challenge for us as singers is often when we're trying to get our chords to close, to resist airflow, especially when we're kind of pressing them a bit more and to get a stronger, fuller sound, our throat also tends to grip in and tighten in. Now, I don't know exactly the reason why, but my kind of guess is, you know, the primary function of our vocal folds is actually to stop food from going into our lungs. And so when they close, I have a feeling that engages you know, a lot of the constrictors, a lot of the, you know, the tensing muscles, because those muscles are so used to firing together when we're eating, when we're swallowing, our vocal folds naturally want to close so that we don't get food into our lungs. And so part of what we're doing here is we have to do a bit of unlearning, or for a lot of us, we have to build this complete new mechanics of the voice, which is I need to keep my throat relaxed and I need to get the vocal folds to close together. This can be tricky for some of us starting off because it's going to feel a bit of like, you know, I'm flexing my biceps and I have to relax my triceps at the same time 
or it might feel a bit like this, doing two things at the same time. But it's not impossible and it can be done. Now, another challenge that presents to us is, I've talked about a lot of release and connection, but for a lot of us listening, it can be very elusive, like what the heck is Ivan even talking about? Like what exactly does release feel like? What, what exactly does connection even feel like? And so what is the solution? How do we even overcome this, Ivan? How do we make sure that our, you know, when we're making a sound, my vocal folds are doing the work and my throat stays completely released, how do we do this? So the key for me, what has really helped me is relating these sounds to things that we naturally do day in, day out. So why don't we jump in and let's explore a bit of this together. Feel free to do this with me. So the first step here is I want to find, you know, on any page, any kind of sound, I want to establish this baseline of technique where my throat's relaxed, it's released, and I can find a precise connection of the chords. So let's actually start off with this. Let's find a complete release of the throat. What I've found to be so helpful to find that complete release of the throat, that relaxation, is using a sigh. So if I was to go, just finding that sigh, I notice that my throat just has this really relaxed, kind of chill feeling. Now, here's the second part. How do I then add a bit of connection to this feeling because I want to establish this release of the throat because it's going to feel super, super easy. But now I've got to get my chords to come together. And this was where I found that the cry, you know, the sound, the quality of a cry or like the intention at least of crying, maybe the face of a cry, anything related to the cry, if we apply a bit of that and we make a sound, that often allows our chords to find just enough connection. And a lot of great singers have said that, you know, singing feels kind of like crying on Hedged. And so I wonder if this is where they came from. So let's give this a crack. Let's find the release. And then once I've found that complete release with a sigh, I'm gonna add a bit of a crying sound, somewhere high in my range, somewhere soft, and I'm gonna see if I can make a sound like this. Try to copy that sound that I've made. Now, it, it probably doesn't sound impressive. It doesn't sound like, you know, wow, like, you know, I'm gonna sing with that. But if I look at what I'm doing here, it feels released and I've got a clean connection because I was not going ah, ah, and letting a lot of air out because that's the other side of the challenge, right? Usually when our throat's too relaxed, we tend to make a very breathy sound as well. So we're kind of finding this paradox where we've got our throat really relaxed, really chill, and then we've got our vocal folds actually doing the work and resisting airflow. This is important because we can build from here. You know, you can find it on different notes in your range, but we can also use it to build more strength, right? Because we want to make sure our voice, when we're building strength and singing more full, it still maintains that feeling of release. It still maintains that feeling of good connection versus just some random squeezing of our voice. And so once you're quite comfortable with finding both a release and cry at this, you know, this kind of higher pitch, this kind of softer sound, see if you can lean into it. get to like a pretty full sound, but it still maintains that feeling of release. It still maintains that feeling of connection. And if you do this enough, maybe you don't even get to the place where I am at the moment because you know I've kind of done this a bit longer. If you can just keep finding this feeling of release, you find this connection, you're trying to lean into it a bit more, you'll start to notice that when you apply things to a song, number one, your voice feels easy to use because you've spent the time to really build this kind of finesse connection and you've trained in this habit of releasing the throat. You found this new way of creating sound that for a lot of us who struggle with the high notes, who struggle with the strain, it can feel very different because it's not natural to us. The natural tendency is if I close my chords, I close my throat. If I release my chords, I release my throat. But we're trying to find a balance between these two. So indirectly, your singing will become better just by doing these exercises. But I think one thing you can also do is when you're singing, just try to apply a bit of that sigh before you're phrasing and then you cry on pitch, for example. So finding the sigh, and I'm gonna add a bit of crying, that intention of a cry. <sighs> so, so this is sonic, so this is sonic. 
all of a sudden, if I keep my throat released and I cry on pitch, it allows me to navigate some of these notes that, you know, if I was using my old habits, you know, every time the chords close, my throat closes in as well, it would feel impossible. But with this idea, we're trying to find a release and connection at the same time. You have to get both of them, right? Not just one of them then singing becomes a lot, lot easier. And so play around with these ideas. I'm super mindful of that. I, I don't want this video to come across as this, you know, you do this and like magically your voice is gonna become better. It's not that, but rather you keep these concepts, you keep these ideas of, you know, I'm trying to keep release, I'm trying to keep connection, and I'm just constantly finding ways to build that into my voice more and more and more. Again, I think that's the key, right? Going deep with your technique and understanding what we're trying to do, that's gonna be the way to improve your voice. Team, that is a wrap. If you've enjoyed this episode, all I ask is please share this with a friend or a family. This can help the community grow even bigger. And this would also mean the world to me. And as usual, I wanna finish this episode with a bit of motivation. And I wanna share a quote from Nelson Mandela. And he said, it always seems impossible until it's done. And I find that this is especially true with singing. Singing often feels like, you know, climbing this invisible or impossible mountain because, you know, no matter what you try, sometimes you, you just kind of sound the same or you're still dealing with that same problem, like you're straining that same kind of vocal problem again and again and again. But I want to reassure you, you know, if you keep going, if you find the right guidance, if you keep trying to find a way, it will happen. You know, you will get better at singing. And so team, I don't know who needs to hear this, but don't give up with your singing. Keep going. It is an uphill battle sometimes, but surely it is uphill. And so team, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Ivan. I'm your voice teacher. If you're interested in taking your singing further and you want some more step-by-steps or one-on-one -on -one help, check out some of the links in the description. Apart from that, I will see you all for our next episode every single Thursday or Friday. Take care. I'll see you soon.